Hey guys, what's up? It's Emiliana. Welcome back to my channel. The most famous reindeer of all. Charles. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer had a very shiny nose. Um, let me know if you like this background. I don't know if I do because you can see my TV. But I'm kind of going here because the only light I get is this little corner of the day and this <laughs> and I don't get much of it so that's sad but you know it's what I get this is the only light I get <laughs> every other than like just daylight this is only sunlight I get which is sad um but you know I can't change it I only get light here so week's vlogmas is um christmas movies and i tried putting a list of 10 movies on here um and i'm gonna tell you the movie and a little bit about it but to be honest i don't remember some of these movies so a lot of it's gonna be um the netflix like little brief but i have two of like classics on here that like I love um so I'm gonna put that also um but so yeah let's get straight into it I have my notepad with the list of movies right with me and let's get to it so the first movie is the Christmas Chronicles which is a perfect family movie I probably have to like look up most of these and do a little like snippet but I don't want to say too much because that's for you to watch but this is like literally the perfect family movie and it's kind of like they're saving Christmas like in a way so it's kind of like I don't know they're saving Christmas I can't find my Netflix so what it says after accidentally crashing Santa's sleigh a brother and sister pull an all-nighter to save Christmas with a savvy street talking Saint Nick. Um, the next one is actually a TV show, not a movie, but it needed to be on the list and it also still deserves a season two. Um, but Dash and Lily, this is perfect for my book lovers out there. Like, literally, can this be turned into real life? Like, this is how I want to find a boyfriend. <laughs> By this so it's a little like it starts off with like a scaven a book scavenger hut in the library or bookstore I can't remember which one and Dash is the one who starts it for any other book lover Lily ends up finding it and they ended up starting to write back and forth to each other which ends up like being like a little letter type situation and then it turns into like all these different dares and then it it's just amazing and any book lover I'm sure you'll love it because I definitely did and I probably want to rewatch it and I just like remember it so much next movie I have princess switch which is three movies now maybe four which is starring Vanessa Hudgens and it's kind of like twins but I think technically in the movie they're like cousins and I can't remember like the a lot of it I guess I should probably like look it up but they basically switch do a little switch um and one's like a princess and one's maybe a baker and um they end up switching to like help with something um but there's also three movies so like i'm thinking of all three um but it says a chicago baker switches lives with a look-alike duchess in a film common sense media called frothy fun for families looking for escapist holiday fair that's what I'm reading straight from Netflix. That's what it says. Um, but those ones are really good if you haven't seen those. I'm sure a lot of people have seen a lot of these, but these are just like 
some of my favorite ones or ones like I remember. Next one, which I'm like re-watching right now, um, A Christmas Prince. And it's kind of in the name. Um, a journalist goes to, um, I don't know where this is placed. I literally am watching this, like, right now. And she's a journalist, and her job was to, like, look after the king, ends up sneaking in, and it's a full romance. I love the romance movies. I'm all for it. I'm not for, like, Hallmark movies, but little, like, romance Netflix movies I'm all for. So yeah, that one's really cute. It's really nice. I love like royalty Christmas movies. It's like just perfect. This one I have, I'm very particular, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, like the full on original one, cartoon, everything. Love that live action one. I will say, love it. We'll watch it fully. But I'm a sucker for like just the original Grinch and like the cartoon drawing. I'm all for it. And obviously it's the Grinch stealing Christmas and somehow fixing it in the end. But like I just, I'm a sunker for the Grinch. Like I love watching the Grinch and especially the original, which you don't see like that often. Next one, I put Elf, which is probably my all time favorite. <laughs> um, but I'm a big Grinch. Grinch is up there, but Elf I feel like is my all-time favorite, um, which some of these I don't want to explain because it's like self-explanatory. Everyone's seen Elf. Everyone's seen the Grinch. Um, and so it's like a human ends up being like, ends up in Santa's bag and then um, gets brought back to the North Pole, was raised at Elf but goes back to like kind of the real world and tries to figure it all out for itself. Um, next movie is Holiday, um, which I don't remember at all, but I know I've seen it and I know I like it. I, I was picking ones on Netflix that I at least remember slightly, but I've seen so many Christmas movies and I've seen some multiple times and I've seen some only once, but I was trying like pick ones like I remember, but maybe don't fully like remember, but I remember I liked like that sort of thing. So the holiday description is fed up with being single on the holidays. Two strangers agree to be each other's platonic plus one all year round, only to catch real real feelings along the way. And reading that honestly makes me remember it a little bit more. The next one I actually watched, we'll see, wait, hold up, <laughs> I'm getting the description up. Um, the next one is the holiday calendar, which it, I ended up watching because um, a girl from Vampire Diaries is in it, um, Bonnie. Um, so, I, I watched it for that because I'm a big Vampire Diaries fan. I'm a big whole Vampire Diaries collection fan. So this is a talented photographer stuck in a dead end job inherits an antique advent calendar that may predict the future and pointing towards her love. I remember like the advent calendar. I don't remember this movie but I remember clicking on it. I remember the look of the advent calendar, but I don't remember like the full movie, but I know I watched it and I I love all these Christmas movies. I'm just a sucker for romance um, Christmas movies. I feel like I'm looking down a lot. I'm sorry. I have to look up the descriptions. Um, this is for my non like can't do too much Christmas but can do the romance um because this isn't fully christmas but it takes place around the time of christmas ish so it's like not full on like snow city like that type of thing it's kind of like it eases it's less it's less like very 
I know what the word I want. It's less Christmassy. It's more of a romance. It's called Love Hard. Again, watch it because um, Nina, who plays Elena in Vampire Diaries, watched it for her. Um, this one's like, they meet on a dating app, but it's a catfish. And yeah, so it goes through that. Um, but it, it's really cute. I wouldn't say it's the best movie, but it is a good watch. This one, I don't remember at all. But I know I watched it because at the beginning it said this was a book. And then I'm like, oh, uh, but I wanted to watch the movie, so I did. Um, I didn't watch it on my Netflix account, so it's not popping up that I watched it. But this says, from the director of Father of the Gra Bride and Baby Boom comes a heartwarming romance of loss and love based on Richard Paul Evans' best-selling novel. So that wasn't really a description, but this is what this is what Netflix puts on their descriptions. Okay, don't blame me. This is full on Netflix descriptions. I'm letting you guys know. Like this isn't me. I'm like I'm searching the thing on Netflix and hold up. <laughs> okay. Um I'm not like going on Google getting a description. I'm full on giving you the Netflix description. So if they're not good descriptions, blame Netflix. But yeah, those are the ten movies I got for you. Let me know if you watch one of them. Dash and Lily, I like literally I'm gonna restart like right now. I love that show. That needed a season two. Netflix just like hates me and doesn't renew all the shows I like on Netflix. So yeah. If you guys um like this video please give it a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, turn post notifications to get notified every time I post. Um, this December, I'm um, posting every single day at 12.15 um, Central Time. Um, what else? What else am I missing? Follow all my social medias. They are down below. Every single one. I have a small business and an Amazon storefront. They're down below. They're down there click on them, follow them. Um, uh, I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know. I'm like, I'm blanking with this, um, outro. Um, have a nice day. I don't know. I, I really don't know what else to say because I, like, I feel like I did it in a different order than I normally do and I'm like, I feel like I said stuff and I said it already and now I don't know how to end it. But yeah, um, follow me subscribe, no notifications, all that, do all that fun stuff, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow, and yeah, okay, I'm done. Peace. Bye.